Thursday, July 18th, 2024, regular board meeting to order. Um, and it is Dr. Long's birthday, but I promised him we would not sing happy birthday tonight. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we are going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance, though. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Okay, up next, we have the adoption of the agenda. Do I have a motion? Madam President, I move that we adopt the agenda as presented. Thank you, Mr. Daniels. Do I have a second? Second. I'll second. Go ahead, Jack. I'll all right, second. thank you, Mr. Russell. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion passes 4-0. Uh, we do not have public comments tonight. Um, so up next are our consent items. Any discussion on the consent items? Do I have a motion? Madam President, I move that we ex accept the consent agenda as presented. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Daniels. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes 4-0. And action item 6.1. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is really important. Yeah. I know, I'm like, he told he was like, it's my like, birthday. Let's roll. It's my birthday. <laughs> It is Bill's birthday, but. Yeah. You guys got to hold me back. I just keep going. Keep I going. appreciate that. Thanks very You're much. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Mrs. Brown, would you like to start? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I am going to first have Tracy McMahon come up here, please. Tracy is our newest principal at Center Grove High School, but she is not new to Center Grove. She's actually started her career in Center Grove, and she's been here for 25 years. You're going into your 25 years. 25. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so she most recently was the assistant principal at the high school for the last eight years, and last year won the Region 9 um, assistant principal of the district, correct? Yeah. Yes. So really happy to have her. She has her husband, Travis, here with her, and her mom and dad, Andy and Susan, yep. correct? Yeah, so please help me welcome Tracy McMahon. Thank you. Is there anything you want to say? No. <laughs> I should have told you. Yes. 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 You're yes. supposed to sing happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> and now I'm going to have Brooke Phillips from Maple Grove come up and introduce her new assistant principal. Well, it is my pleasure to welcome our new assistant principal to Maple Grove, Latrice Johnson. She is coming to us with, I think, 15 years experience in education and the last five in administration. She's been an assistant principal and a principal, so just moving to the Greenwood area, we're very excited to have her with us. Um, joining her tonight, her son Omar is with her. He's going to be in fourth grade at Maple Grove, so we're excited to welcome him. Please help me welcome Latrice. Congratulations. <laughs> Yes, you're, now you get to sing happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is such an honor to be a part of this prestigious district. I am just corporation. I am really excited and ready to do that hard work with all of you. Oh, welcome. Awesome. You. welcome. Okay, now, now, we can go now <laughs> on to item, action item 6.1, uh, the appointment of the board member, um, and do I have a motion? Madam President, I move that we appoint Jane Dunnigan Smith to fill the vacant board position um, and as our new board member. Okay, do I have a second? I second. Thank you, Mr. Russell. Um, all those in, well, discussion? Just, just a quick comment. Um, some of you here may or may not know, we had 25 applicants. We had eight interviews. We had tons of good people show up for this. We were very impressed with the pool. We were very impressed with everybody we talked to. So it's a, it's a real tribute and a real honor to, to welcome Jane. But I'll tell you, we, we were here until 10 o'clock, <laughs> executive session. And it, it, it wasn't because we know Jane will do a great job. We know that. But we know that there are others that would have too. So we really thought long, thought hard. Nobody's going to fill Gary's spot. But I thank everybody that participated in the process. I thank, they, they sat in front of us here for two hours. 
and answered questions that may have seemed bizarre sometimes and may have seemed straightforward. But at the, at the end of the day, we, we really put a lot of thought into it, and I think we could have gone a lot of different directions. I think we chose the direction that's best for the corporation, but that's not a reflection of anything negative of anybody that wasn't selected. We literally had the opportunity of a good problem, which is a bunch of good people wanting to sit in that seat. So thank you for everybody that participated. My only other comment, Madam President, is those who, you know, came through the interview process, and, and I would encourage all of you to stay engaged, mm -hmm. find other ways um, to continue to engage with the corporation. Um, we had a lot of great discussion about, you know, some potential future future leaders in our discussions, and, and I would encourage everyone to continue to be, be an active participant in the school district. Which one of those ways would be we have to win Dr. Long for the ambassador program to sign up to. Yeah. Well, Tracy, or Stacy has a link, but it's available, right? Still on. on end of, end end of, of July. Yep. Okay. That is a wonderful way. That's a program that started several years ago, and that's a wonderful way to really get a, a bit of an understanding about school budget about how school works, because it is so very different from private business uh, on that way. Uh, and I will also give Mrs. Rako a, a kick that uh, they're looking for foundation members. Uh, that is another way to get mm -hmm. in, yourself involved uh, with the school district, because uh, they do wonderful things, especially giving grants to teachers. Well, I'm excited. I, I I've had the pleasure of working with Jane on the Ed Foundation Board. She was my VP when I was president, and then she moved into president role after me, and a uh, great lady. I'm excited to have you up here with us. So anyway, do I, um, so all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Motion passes 4-0. Um, next up. We have the restatements of the 403B plan, and Dr. Taylor is going to provide us more information. Thank you, Mrs. Counts. Um, this restatement will allow us to add a Roth 403B contribu contribution option. This is a post-tax option. It'll be available to all employees. Still will be limited by the IRS annual maximums. Um, this was part of our two-year collective bargaining agreement, and uh, our original 403B consultant is no longer in business. We haven't restated this in about nine years, and so we engaged with a new consultant, got all the appropriate paperwork filed for, or for the board to approve tonight, and we will get that filed, and it will be available to all employees um, effective Jan July 1st of this year. So um, no other changes will be made. This is simply adding the option for the Roth 403B, and um, I believe that's all the pertinent information. Thank you. Um, any discussion? All right, do I have a motion? Madam President, I move that we approve the restatement of our 403B plan. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Russell. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes 4-0. Um, action item 6.3 is the second reading of the proposed policy revisions. Thank you. This is uh, our volume 36, number one uh, edition. Uh, we did our first reading at our last board meeting in June. We've not made any changes, didn't have any suggestions. So tonight, uh, we're asking the board to take action and approve the, uh, the policies as presented. Thank you. Any discussion? No? Do I have a motion? Madam President, I move that we approve the second reading of the proposed policy revisions. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Daniels. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes 4-0. Um, <clears throat> our next announcements, our next board meeting and work session, actually, and executive session is Thursday, August 15th, 2024. So um, join us at the work session if, you, if you'd like to. Pub that is open to public. And I, I hope Jane is putting this out on her calendar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any uh, comments? Jack, would you like to go first? Not at this time. Uh, I don't have any updates. I'm getting engaged with Central Nine and the Johnson County Redevelopment Commission meeting for Monday's been canceled, so apparently nothing on the docket. Okay. 
nothing tonight. Okay. Do you have anything, Jane? No, I just um, don't have. Okay. Thanks, Mama. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. I uh, board meeting adjourned. Ten minutes, Bill.